Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in circular wave guide. A circular wave guide has an internal diameter of 5 cm. Calculate the cutoff frequency for the first four modes of TE and TM waves. In the solution part, first we have to write the given data. The diameter is given, its value is 5 cm. From this we can get the value of A. That is radius is equal to 5 by 2 that is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Okay here they have given us the centimeter we have to write it in a meter. Okay we are going to find out the cutoff frequency value. Its formula is C into H N M by 2 pi. Okay here this H N M is equal to what? H A of the mode value divided by A. We are going to use these two formulas in this problem. So here we are going to find out the cutoff frequencies for the first four modes of TE and TM waves. For this TM and TE waves we have to remember this HA values. For TM01 its value is 2.405. For TM11 its value is 3.832. For TM02 its value is 5.52. For TM12 its value is 7.02. Similarly you have to remember the values of TE waves. For TE01 its value is 3.832. For TE11 its value is 1.841. For TE02 its value is 7.02. And TE12 its value is 5.33. Next we are going to find out the cutoff frequency for each mode. Let's start with this TE01 mode. For that we have to find out H01 value. That is equal to HA of 01 by A. That is equal to 3.832 divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. So here TE01 value is what? 3.832. Okay. Then we can get H01 value as 153.28. We can substitute this value in this cutoff frequency formula that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 that is the value of this C into this H01 value divided by 2 pi. The answer is 7.32 gigahertz. So giga means as you all know that 10 to the power 9 hertz. Okay. Similarly we can find out the value for TE11 mode. So similarly we can find out the value for this TE11 mode. For that H11 is equal to HA11 by A. The HA11 for TE wave is 1.84 divided by A value is what 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. That is equal to 73.6. We have to substitute this value in this cutoff frequency formula. Then the answer is 3.51 gigahertz. Okay for TE11 wave. Do you all understand this one? Similarly, we can find out the values for TE02 and TE12 mode. For TE02, the HA02 value is 7.02 divided by A value is 2.5 in 10 to the power minus 2. That answer is 280.8. Substitute this value in this cutoff frequency formula. Then we can get the answer as 13.40 GHz. Okay. Then for TE12 mode, here HA12 value is 5.33. Then we can get the H12 value as 213.2. Substitute this value in this cutoff frequency formula. Then the cutoff frequency for TE12 wave is 10.17 GHz. Okay. So from this calculation, we come to know that the mode order. So the lowest cutoff frequency is 3.51 GHz. The next one is 7.31 GHz. The next one is 10.17. And the last one is 13.40. So from this calculations, we can understand the order of the TE waves. So the wave which is having the lowest cutoff frequency is known as dominant mode. For the circular waveguide, TE11 is the dominant mode which is having the lowest cutoff frequency 3.51 GHz for the given diameter 5 cm. Okay.
So next one is TE01. The next higher order is TE12. The next one is TE02. The same way we can find out the values for this TEM waves. For this TEM01 mode, we can use the value of HA01 for TEM. Its value is 2.405. Substitute that value in this formula. Then we can get the answer as 96.2. Substitute this value in this cutoff frequency formula. Then the cutoff frequency for this TEM01 is equal to 4.59 gigahertz. Then TEM11 mode. HA11 value is 3.832 divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. Then the value is 153.28. Substitute this H11 value in this cutoff frequency. Its value is 7.32 GHz. Okay. Similarly, we can find out the values for TM02 mode and TM12 mode. For this TM02 mode, the HA02 value is 5.52. Okay. Then we can get HO2 is equal to 220.8. Substitute that value in this cutoff frequency. Then the cutoff frequency for this TEM02 wave is 10.54 GHz. Okay. And the last one is TEM12 mode. Here the HA12 for this TEM wave is 7.02. Here the answer is 280.8. Substitute this value in this cutoff frequency formula to get the value as 13.40 GHz. Okay. So from this calculation, we can make a order over here 4.59 gigahertz 7.35 gigahertz the next higher order is 10.54 gigahertz then 13.40 gigahertz okay then the lowest cutoff frequency is what tm01 for this tm waves the lowest cutoff frequency wave is tm01 this is the dominant mode okay so TM01, then TM11, TM02, TM12. So for this circular waveguide including TE and TM waves, the dominant mode is TE11. The next one is TM01 mode. Problem, a circular waveguide has the cutoff frequency of 9 gigahertz in dominant mode. First we are going to find out the inside diameter of the guide if it is air filled. The second one is to find out the inside diameter of the guide if it is filled with dielectric material with epsilon r is equal to 4. So in this problem the given data are here it is a dominant mode of the circular waveguide. What is the dominant mode of circular waveguide? It is TE11 mode. Okay. Then the cutoff frequency Fc is also given. Okay. In this first we are going to find out the inside diameter of the guide if it is air filled. Air filled means what? Epsilon r is equal to 1. Okay. In the solution part, first we have to write the given data. The dominant mode is TE11 mode. Cutoff frequency Fc is equal to 9 gigahertz. Epsilon r is equal to 4. For air filled, epsilon r is equal to 1. Here we can mention mu r is equal to 1. Okay. So here air filled circular waveguide. The cutoff frequency formula is C into H N M by 2 pi. So here this HNM is nothing but H A dash of 1 1 by A. A is the radius. Okay. So here we are going to find out the diameter. For that we need to get the value of this A. Here this H A dash 1 1 represents the Bessel's value for this T E 1 1 wave. Okay. Its value is 1.84. So you have to remember all the HA values for TE waves and TM waves. Okay. For this TE11 its value is 1.84. That is equal to the cutoff frequency 9 gigahertz. Okay. Then we can substitute the values of C. That is the velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 into HA11 dash value is 1.84 divided by 2 pi A. From this we can get the value of this A by moving this A to this left hand side. Okay. And here we can move this 9 into 10 to the power 9 to this right hand side as a denominator. Then we can get the value as 9.76 in 10 to the power minus 3 meter. 
this can be written like this 0 0.976 centimeter but we are going to find out diameter that is equal to 2 into a we can get the answer as 0 0.0195 meter okay this is the diameter of the given circular waveguide for air filled material okay so next we are going to find out the diameter for dielectric medium with epsilon r is equal to 4 so here we can assume mu r is equal to 1 the given value is epsilon r is equal to 4 the same formula we can use but here we have to use the term square root of mu r into epsilon r in the denominator as we know that fc is equal to what c into h n m actually there is no c it is simply h n m divided by 2 pi into square root of mu into epsilon as we know that 1 by mu naught into epsilon naught the whole square root is equal to c correct and write this formula as fc is equal to c into h n m by 2 into pi in case of air filled circular waveguide if the dielectric material is given means we can include that dielectric material values here okay then we can substitute the values of ha dash 1 1 and mu or epsilon r c values over here to get the value of this a okay then we can get the value as 4.88 in 10 to the power minus 3 meter so here diameter is equal to 2 into a we can get the answer as 9.76 in 10 to the power minus 3 meter this can be written like this 0.976 centimeter do you all understand this one